Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video for Blaster Boxes of the brand new 2024 Tops Big League that just came out yesterday. Hobby came out and hit the stores yesterday, and now these Blaster Boxes will be showing up to Targets and Walmarts near you this weekend. So let's tell you a little bit about this product. It's a little bit different than the Hobby Boxes. As you know, the Hobby Boxes... They have 18 packs. They're about $50 per box, and you get an autograph from what we've seen in about one in every other box. So you buy two boxes, you got a pretty good shot of getting one auto. Now, the Blaster Boxes have an exclusive five electric orange parallels inside. It says, complete these insert sets, good vibrations, tops, big leaders, leaguers, mascots, and to the moon, which are all very common. These limited inserts are pretty tough to find let's go i don't think i've found a single let's go or game day drip one yet also the influencer cards are they're out there the jabs family card has yet to be found on this channel other people have found it i have seen i think seven or eight of them have already been sold on ebay i hope we can find one maybe we'll find it here if not here then i hope that we can find it in our next round of team breaks there also is a one thousand dollar bounty on that card if you pull it in one of my team breaks so if you want to go after that thousand dollars during our live stream team breaks if we pull it for you you're good to go all right so let's see what we can find in this we're going to go ahead and open these up we'll start things off here with two boxes for rebecca black these boxes are 25 dollars a piece and you will receive a grand total of how many cards? They're, it's really not even printed on the box anywhere. It looks like, okay, 80 cards. So that, that's right about what you would get from a Series 1 box. I think Series 1 is 84 cards. You get 10 packs in here of eight, pa or eight cards each. That's pretty good. So here we go. Big League Blaster Boxes. Good luck to everybody in this round. Here's the packs. You can see same Basic design, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight cards, that's pretty good. The hobby boxes, they give you 18 packs and eight cards per pack. So we're going to open, I think, at least seven of these. And then we'll kind of get an idea if it's worth it or not to buy the blaster boxes or the hobby boxes. I think the odds of finding the influencer cards are roughly the same in each which is to say maybe one or one in every case or one in every other case. All righty, here we go, Rebecca Black. Looks like we're still getting a foil card in every pack. I just want to see what the differentiation is between this and Hobby, like if there's that much of a difference. Obviously, I don't think we're going to have the blue foils one per box like we did with Hobby, but we'll see because, hey, I think we may even have a blue foil here. You do get these orange parallels. We'll be featuring these boxes, by the way, on the or in the April Patreon packages. Now, if you hate Big League for whatever reason and don't want to go after the uh, the influencer cards, well, we can always opt it out. You can swap out. I'll put I'll put an opt out probably up on Patreon. There's the Yamamoto. It's opening day today, by the way. Currently, it's like 5 o'clock, so a lot of the game's right in the midst of the swing of things. There's the blue. Sandy Alcantara for Rebecca. Not too bad. Masataka Yoshida. Foil, one per pack. How about this guy right here? Mike Trout. He hit the first home run of the 2024 season. So a lot of people, including myself, are curious. Is he going to stay healthy? Here's these oranges, these electric orange. You'll see those five per box. Can he stay healthy? I sure hope so. We'll see what happens. Looking good so far, though. Going deep in Baltimore with the first home run of 2024. We'll be opening opening day boxes, by the way, for Throwback Thursday tonight. So, so some old Throwback Thursday boxes. And then we'll go live tonight with an auction. If you'd like to join us, I'm sure most games will be wrapped up by then. But we'll go live tonight. We'll open some maybe... Maybe some newer stuff over there as well. Maybe we'll open some Big League. Maybe we'll open some Tribute. We did some Tribute last night, by the way, over on Whatnot Wednesday. We did a couple little pack wars with it. And we found a Mike Trout 
numbered auto out of 25. It was one of those awesome pillars cards. It was great. So, fortunately, I can't make a short of it because it's on the whatnot platform. All right, Rebecca Black, here's your second box. So, the first box gives you a blue and the orange parallels. There wasn't any autograph in there. Let's check out this second one and see how it does. Now, in the back of my mind, I'm just thinking, all right, well, after we do this box, that's a that's equivalent to one hobby box. You know, 50 bucks for two blasters, or do you pay... 50 for one hobby box. We'll see what happens here. In this second one, there's Andrew McCushion, DH for the Pirates. Pirates playing down in Miami right now, losing currently 4 to 2. All right, here we go. Corbin Burns, you served up that first home run of the season to Mike Trout. There he is now with the Orioles. All right, Rebecca, let's see what we've got. Mookie Betts Orange, and let's see what we've got. Juan Soto, good vibration card. Dylan Cease, Corbin Carroll. We've got Shane McClanahan. There's Christian Walker. So we haven't, there's another blue. We haven't seen any red yet, but the reds are pretty rare. Miguel Cabrera, Henry Davis, Randy Johnson, big league card. Gunnar Henderson. And there's a Devin Williams. I think he's got a back issue right now. We'll see when he comes back to the moon. Those are very, very common. Find those quite often. Got Sonny Gray. There's Alex Verdugo. Another orange orange foil on the Sonny Gray. Got Derek Jeter, Spencer Strider. And Andy Rodriguez getting down to the end of this box and you know what i don't know i think maybe at least right now there's dominguez we'll get that sleeved up the only edge that this box has had over a hobby is that we've gotten two blues instead of one but there's no autograph in there so i think right now it's just two boxes down we'll open more in this video but i think i'm i'm definitely leaning a little more towards hobby but we'll see we're gonna open some more now if we don't pull a single autograph out of seven boxes then uh, I'll have a little bit of a problem with these. Let's go ahead and move some other boxes in. Let's get Michael Collins with his two and see what we can do here. Good luck, Michael Collins. Ten more packs. All together, we'll be opening 70 of these packs. There's also a fat pack version out there if you want to try that out. I didn't get a chance to head to Walmart today. Usually, my Walmart doesn't stock to the weekends anyway, so... If I do find some fat packs out at Walmart, I'll probably bring you a Walmart video. We'll maybe pick up a blaster box of this and then some fat packs. And then maybe a little, little bit of this, a little bit of that. Usually we do like 200 bucks from those Walmart haul videos. They're always fun. Sometimes we do pretty well. Sometimes we don't. But Michael Collins is up right now. Let's see what we can find for Michael. We've got Ryan Presley leading things off in this next box. There's Jamer Condelario, and we've got Spencer Steer and Owen White. Sal Frelick, I like that picture with his helmet flying off. And Sal Frelick, silver foil. And here comes a blue of Manny Machado. So every box has had one of those rare blues so far. Manny Machado right there, and there's Javi Baez, orange. Sounds like the kiddos are maybe arguing a little bit upstairs. Sorry about that. They, uh, I'm going to have to probably pause this here and send them to their rooms and give them a good old timeout. There's Yamamoto right there. So, so far, nothing yet. There's Marcus Stroman, orange. We've got Henry Davis. And Jordan Walker. Brent Rooker. So I'm going to pause this right here and we'll get back to this in a second for Michael Collins. All right, Michael, continuing this. Sorry about that. Let's see what we can find for you in your second, second box. Box number two. So far, every box has had a blue, which isn't bad. If every single box has a blue, at least that's something. And I'm just curious how many autographs are going to be in here. You're going to 
See these out at Walmart, and hopefully this video, along with the, all the hobby boxes that we've opened, will give you an idea of what to do. Do you buy one or two of these, or do you go buy a hobby box? We've got Michael, and then we've got two more boxes going out to John Ford, and then Richard Grigg. All my, if you're wondering where I got these, by the way, I bought 20 cases of blaster boxes. I want to have a whole bunch to open up here and there throughout the next, who knows, X amount of years. Always be nice to maybe just go back and try to find the influencer card with my face on it, which is just, I still can't believe it. I've, I've not, it doesn't, it doesn't quite seem real yet because I haven't actually held it in my hand. Now that's going to change soon because Topps contacted me and they, uh, they will be sending me a package of, I don't know, 10 to 20 of those cards. So I'm expecting those to come in by this weekend. So the race is on. Can I find the card before Top sends them to me? Obviously, I'd like to, I'd love to have the card either way, but I'd like to kind of pull it in a pack first. That would be amazing to see it there for the first time. There's a Blake Snell orange foil. Those are kind of rare. I think that's the second one that we've pulled in four boxes. But we'll see. We're going to come back with some box wars on Saturday night. I might make that open to everybody so everybody can watch that. Usually, I just close that down so only the Patreon members can see it. But if we do pull the Jab Family card, I want everybody to be able to see. There's Ellie De La Cruz and nothing else there. So four boxes down. You've seen about $100 worth of big league blasters opened so far. It's nice that you get a blue in every pack. Still looking for our first autograph. Next up, it's John D. Ford. John has two of these boxes as well. So, John, let's see what we can find for you here. Good luck. Box number five overall of this video. It'll be a double upload day today, by the way. Second video will be opening day boxes from 2020. We'll be looking for Luis Robert, Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette rookie cards. We'll be looking for the super rare inserts like the Dugout Peaks and Walk This Way. Usually Throwback Thursday, I like to go five years or older in the past. But I didn't have any older opening day boxes. For, I guess I had some hangers from 2018, but I kind of... I did that a day early, or not a week early. I did that last week because some of the, the, the I think the box I was waiting on was delayed. And I was like, well, I'll just move this up. All right, so here's John's first of two boxes. Let's see what we can do for you here. Basically, same format as all the other big league boxes with the flipped upside down foil card. There's Shohei Otani's first official Topps Dodgers card. At least that was put into a release and not a Tops Now exclusive. Got Johnny DeLuca rookie cards. You'll see some rookies that you haven't seen yet in 2024. And look at this. There we go. Autographs are in here, folks. It is Key Brian Hayes. Very nice. A Key Brian Hayes auto right there. Pirates Gold Glove Award winner. So autographs are, you know, they're available in the big league blasters. It took us five blasters to find one, and uh, typically, now just if you're wondering what's better, Hobby or Blasters, Hobby, I think the stated odds on their website is one in every six boxes, but that's definitely not the case. I'm gonna see if I can find the odds right now. Big League Odds 2024 tops. One in every five would be, I guess that would be okay. You'd love to see it one in every, I guess, four would be acceptable for this if you know it's roughly equivalent to the what it would be in a hobby box like hundred dollars basically for two hobby boxes let's see here big league autographs three thousand of them were made then they have parallels and stuff it says one in every eight hobby box but there's different i think there might be different types of autos so that's the thing i think some people will look at the odds i, I can kind of show you right here i don't know how well this is going to show up you can see, like, it'll say big league autographs, one in eight. That's hot, one in eight hobby boxes. But then there's other autographs that are available as well. Uh, like, you got big league autographs, and then there's 
good vibrations autograph. There's all kinds of different sets of autos, so I can't really tell you what the exact odds are. I don't, I, I don't know how to crunch those numbers. There's opening act autographs, which are one in every four hobby boxes. So with multiple autograph sets, a couple different autograph sets, it's, it's tough to know. I'll tell you that the hobby box, or the value box odds on the opening act autographs, which are the most common of the autographs, are value box each box odds. That can't be right. One in every 49. So, geez. I would probably say if it says one in every 49, I would bet you it's one in every 20 or so. That's just a guess. We'll see. I mean, maybe we'll sit down and open a whole case of these and see how frequent the autos are. But if they're one in every five, then this is a winner. I mean, the best blasters that we've seen recently from Fanatics would be probably Bowman and also Chrome. Those were giving us autos roughly one in every five boxes. There's Matt McLean. That's nice. Nice foil card right there. We'll get that one sleeved up for you, John. Yeah, we'd open a case of like 40. We'd come away with like seven or eight autographs. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll try to do a case. And look at this. Freddie Freeman Red. Guys, I don't know what to say now. If these are better or worse than Hobby. So the Reds are out. They're in here as well. Also, I mean, the rarest of the rare in this set is the legendary foil. Those gold foil Hall of Famers. Still trying to find Mickey Mantle. Let's do another box for you, John. Here's your second box. Let's move Key Brian Hayes out of the way a little bit. And see what we can find in this next one. Good luck to John D. Ford. Make sure I got all the packs out of there. I do. We still have one more box left in this preview video after this one. The influencer card still yet to be found. Through the rest of these, it'd be nice to find another auto. But I just, you know, I'm, I'm really kind of on the lookout now for game day drift and let's go inserts. I mean, if you have any of those, man, just don't toss those aside in your common stack. I know that it might, sometimes they just look like they might be just a random like insert and you might just top it off, toss it off to the side like it's nothing. But a let's go insert from 2024 Tops Big League, that's big money. I'm looking right now, at least listings, but let's go Bobby Witt Jr. is listed. Let me just slide in here for your $300 list price on there. And then they've got other ones, one in like 5,000 hobby packs. There is a, who's that? Pete Alonso right there. So it looks like most of them are at least $100 cards. Man, there's a Ronald Acuna starting off at 10 bucks. I, I would bid on that, but it's still seven days left. Another one is already up to 46 with three days left. It'll probably definitely end up going for a hundred bucks or more. So if you do pull a Let's Go card or a Game Day Drip, hey, don't just toss them in your stack with all your other commons. I'm sure that that happens a lot. Like you might see good vibrations like, okay, cool. Just toss it aside in with all your others. There's a Junior Caminero orange card. It's always interesting to see what the super rare limited inserts go for. Got Ken Griffey Jr., Kyle Schwarber, blue. So the blues just keep on coming. I think in that last box, I don't think we had a blue outside of the key Brian Hayes. So I don't know if I can definitively say that there's a blue in every single box. Sometimes the blues and the for the silver foils sometimes look similar to me, depending on what the background is. And we got a Fred Bird card there. I saw that blue top, and I was hoping it was going to be like an opening day autograph or something like that. Or check that. Big League Auto. Keep talking about opening day because I'm, you know, opening that today. And also it's opening day. Bryson Stott, Orange Foil is a nice one. There's Cal Ripken Jr. Alex Verdugo. Jason Dominguez right there. And uh, looks like this box is going to be in the books, leaving us with one more opening day blaster. Hopefully you get a good idea of what these are all about. So when you see them out at the store this weekend you can decide if you want to pick up a box i think probably a lot of people will i'm just thinking what's out there right now i mean there's there might be some series one my walmart seems to run out of series one rather quickly so i think this is 
probably going to sell pretty well. Anytime, usually anytime anything's new, it typically sells pretty well unless they vastly overprice it. Like some of the Panini boxes from years past when they'd hit the shelves at like 40 bucks for a freaking prism box or something like that. Here's our last box. It is for Richard Grigg. So Richard, good luck to you. And thanks everybody for joining us for this preview video. It's the first of two videos today. And then we also have a live auction. So I guess technically we're going to have three uploads on the channel today. We've got this new release right here. We've got Throwback Thursday in a little bit. Then we have a live auction tonight. Lots and lots of action going on. And then tomorrow, I put this on sale on Patreon if anyone's interested. I have currently the plan is to run Tribute, 2024 Tops Tribute versus 2023 Tops Tribute, which should be pretty interesting. Those boxes are they're fun to open. Remind me, remind me a lot about uh, or of uh, Museum Collection. Get a hit in every single pack, either a relic or an autograph. And let's see if we can hit anything else in here for Richard. Now, some people have said that they've hit the Jabs Family Influencer card out of blaster boxes. They said, hey, pulled your card today out of a blaster. The Jury Perez, it's a orange foil. We'll get it sleeved up again, these orange foils. You can only get them retail-wise if you want to, if you like them. Head on over to your Walmart or Target or wherever blaster boxes are sold. And look at this. We've got another red. Aaron Judge. I don't know. That's pretty good. Seven boxes, a red in two of them. I mean, if a red's coming out of one every three and a half boxes, that's really good. These are tough, tough, tough to find. The best red that we ever pulled was a red Ellie de la Cruz. Yeah, we found it. We found it at the end of the night of our first night of Big League Breaks. I think it was in the last box, actually. It may have even been last pack. There was a red Ellie De La Cruz to wrap it up, and that one's worth big money. Now, before I go, some of you are probably wondering, what is the red Ellie De La Cruz worth? Let me see if I can look it up for you before I say goodbye for now. So a 2024 Big League Ellie De La Cruz, card number 300 of the set, is on eBay currently for, let's see if I can even find one, 165 bucks best offer, 109 So it's probably about a $100 card. See, 100 160 Yeah, about 100 bucks would be probably the low price on that one from what I'm seeing. If you find a game day drip, LA Daily like Cruise, there's one listed on here for 347 So lots of, despite being a kind of like a lower end product, like a kind of like an entry product for kids, this is a great product for kids. There's some higher end stuff for the series collectors. You got those foil parallel sets to chase after. It's a little bit challenging. If you want to put the whole 310 card set together, you're going to have to do a little bit of work. Now, the common set will be super easy, but the blues will be a little more challenging. And then after that, you got the uh, the reds and the, the golds. Those are going to be super tough to find. So anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching. I enjoyed Big League as always. I hope you guys liked it as well. We've got some team breaks filling of this. Whenever we sell out a team break of Big League, we'll just go live with it. Uh, we'll be live again on Tuesday with more rounds. Team break Tuesday, typically our largest team breaks of the night. But I'm off for the next five days for Easter break, so I'm willing to go live and break Big League whenever I can because I really want to pull that Jabs Family Influencer card. We'll also be live Saturday night with a Saturday Showdown Box Wars. We'll be breaking Big League, Tribute, Signature Series, Bowman Inception and other products. I'm going to put those for sale probably tonight on Patreon. And if you'd like to buy into any of our breaks, our live breaks, live box wars, preview videos like this one, we sell all of those spots on our Patreon page. You can check it out on Patreon by clicking the link in the description or just Googling Join Jabs Family Patreon. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. Plan now is to go out and play a little Foursquare with the kiddos. Then head to Walmart, get some tape so I can tape up some more packages for you guys from tonight's auctions. Use the last of my tape today. And then uh, get some dinner, come back here, film the opening day video. Maybe watch a little bit of opening day highlights and then go live with you guys tonight. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. Happy opening day, everybody. And I'll see you all in a little bit. Good night, everybody.